Hello everybody, Shift again with another Defend the Rook run. And uh, you guys seem to enjoy the game, so I decided to do another one on it. Why not? Let's first of all unlock new stuff. So I was looking through these. I have five coins. I will go up to the upgrade hero so that I get the samurai. So let's pick this thing up, this thing up, and this thing up. So up to this point, we have unlocked um, a common upgrade for all three classes, a common rare, and an upgrade, a rare and epic upgrade for all three classes, and also the samurai hero itself. And now I was thinking about also unlocking this loot creel will now be available in battles. So let's go here and here and see what that is. And we will see how we will go from next round onwards. Uh, although I would like to unlock the Corsair, I think I will go into the Frost Tower upgrade. Because if we win, and we might lose, but if we win Ascension 1, we will unlock three new characters if uh, on Ascension 2. So let's go into our loadout here. We will change the warrior who has at the end of her turn adjacent heroes and contraptions gain three temporary armor he, into the um, samurai, which uh, instead of having 10 attack, 3 and melee attack, he, he is a bit weaker here, 6 attack and 4 armor, but deflection. The first time the samurai is attacked by an adjacent enemy each wave, he takes no damage. So although he has 4 armor, he takes a really 0 at the first hit. And then Iaidu. I, I do, I, I do, I don't even know what's, how that's read. Whenever the samurai is attacked by an adjacent enemy, he deals four damage back to them. So, uh, first of all, he takes nothing, and secondly, he do deals four damage. This should be his power, not four damage, uh, just so that you could scale it better and make it a build. Uh, we don't have anything for the rogue, we don't have anything for the sorceress, uh, we don't have anything here and here. I mean, we have the this banner, hero's banner, um, and a 3 time radius gives 3 temporary power and 3 temporary armor to the units. Mm, you know, let's use it just because it's new, why not? If we lose it because of the fact that I don't have a taunt thing, we might as well lose, you know? And then for the tower, instead of having the Emerald Tower, which attacks everything around, we will go with the Splitter Tower, which attacks everything in 4 directions, and it has 10 range, so that would be the whole map. We have the Mortar Tower instead of the Cannon Tower. Instead of doing 4 damage from 2 to 6, it does 8 damage, anything with an area of 3. And it does uh, 2 damage radius AoE, so if enemies are stacked, it will explode them all. So I think it's a bit better than the other one. And then instead of going for the Arcane Tower, which is 6 damage, 4 range, we will go with the Lightning Tower. 2 damage, 3 range, but it has Chain Lightning. So if 5 or 6 enemies are close to each other, it will Chain. And if this thing gets power somehow, it will be even better. And uh, I think that is what we're gonna go with. I don't think I forgot something. The only thing I forgot to mention is that this does 10 damage and this does 10 damage too. So that's it pretty much. And uh, yeah, I think we will start. We are using everything new, so uh, I have no idea if this is gonna go well. As spells we have, give a hero for temporary armor. Eh, mediocre. Decimate, remove a block tile and replace it with a trap. Deals 3 damage. Cannot be used unless you buy a tile. Decent, I guess. And also static storm, deal 10 damage to all enemies. I guess it's good. And uh, let's go into this and see how this goes. I hope we will be able to arrive at the second point today. Uh, first boss gain 2 power at the end of each turn, so it's the same thing. And uh, yeah, let's start the fight and let's see how this goes. Seems like, yeah, seems like the bosses, etc. are all the same thing. Oops, sorry for that. Magister, I've expected your arrival. So good to see you again. Squashing your pitiful invasion sounded like a respectable use of my powers. What are you after now, Saz? It's the same thing, right? The same thing. Kingdoms have bonus of gems. Now my reason are far more personal. I want to unleash everything I can to achieve it. Typical I'm not allowed. Of course, letting you pass with stone reputation. Rush this dear trickster sometimes. Yeah, I think it's the same. It's the same thing. Identity crisis is an achievement I got. Why though? Let me look what that achievement is. Okay, it was just uh just use a character that's not in the base the, just use a character that are not the basic three characters. Okay, so if I kill everything. Um, the samurai will de uh, take no damage. So, first of all, she can can she go? Wait a minute, can she go through here to kill this? Yes, she can. Can this guy go? Mm, can this guy attack us there? No, he cannot. So we go. First, we go over here, attack this. Now we go over here and attack this. You go. Ah, oh, there is no reason to play it like that. I can bring him here. Let's go. You go here. How much does this move? Theoretically speaking, uh, this thing should be able to attack this field. It has four movement. One, two, three, four. It can go here and attack the rogue. Well, if he does that, it does that. It's okay. Let's go here for the kill. Let's go here for the kill. And let's hope it somehow, for some reason, attacks the samurai. Very nice. Yeah, I know we take nothing and do four damage back. 
We'll come over here, get the kill. Get our first passive of the day, which instantly starts with an orange one. Stone Strike. After you attack an enemy, gain temporary armor equal to the amount they lost. This is really good for him. Kinetic Tricks, a transfer. If the rogue moves through a hero or a contraption, they gain 4 armor. At the end of turn, 4 temporary armor. Let, let's go with this. Let's go with he gains armor for the damage he does. So that means every time he attacks, he gets 6 armor. And uh, let's go over here to have some coverage because enemies always appear in corners and uh, most of these units don't walk that much. And uh, now that I actually, uh, I, have, I haven't placed the towers yet, I know, but I want to see where the enemies are going to spawn so that I understand uh, the stage in average. You see, that's why I didn't set up the towers. Most of the time I'm setting them up over there, but uh, now I need to run back. What is this? Why, why are five enemies spawning here? Bring this guy. This guy has no defense whatsoever. We're gonna get blasted here for sure. Um, you go over here in the corner. And you stay where you are. Uh, what else? Let's start setting up some towers. By the way, this lightning tower is gonna make wonders now. Make wonders? Do wonders. It's gonna pretty much destroy everybody. Let's place it here so that the chain lightnings everything to death. Let's place the mortar tower here so that it flings a bomb and pretty much destroys them. I have no good spots for those. And uh, let's split tower. I would like to have the split tower in the corner. Uh, like in a... not a corner, in a... What's this called? In a, on a side, because enemies spawn off on sides. So it's either this or this. Let's go for this. I hope and believe that they're gonna arrive there. And uh, I could theoretically place the banner here to gain a bunch of damage boost. Yeah, let's play the tower here so everything gets damage boosted. And let's see how this goes. And armor boosted too. So lightning will begin. Two, 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 and the explosion happened too. Yeah, that was really fast on the kills there. This guy's a bit too far away. Uh, we can get a kill here. And a kill here. And now he's gonna take one damage, but one damage is uh, good enough for me. I want to. I would like to know how, what this looks like. You know what? Yeah, he can take a damage. Who cares, really? Oh, I didn't move with this. Very nice. We got another kill. We got more kills than I, we bargained for, and we get increased damage radius by one. I like this. Radius means that it's going to do explosive damage, not that he has more range. Killing enemy makes them explode, dealing five damage to adjacent enemies. This could chain react into itself. Let's go for this. Let's play, let's play an um, a samurai run today, you know? Are oh, the enemies gonna spawn? Well, uh, this thing will actually hit everything for 10, so it worked out. And this thing will also fling a bomb here or here, and uh, what, these two are definitely dead. Why are there so many enemies? I guess because it's essential level 1? The amount of health restored is lower. I don't know why there are so many enemies. This thing is gonna chain to these two. I think their rogue is gonna be able to handle those. Send the rest of the team. You know what? Let's send the this guy to handle those. And send the rogue and the other guy and the, the mage to the top so they can help out there. And uh, let's also send the tower, why not? And uh, yeah, let's pass. Let's see, the, these are already dead. Boop, boop. Yeah, everything died there. This thing did not hit anything. The chain lightning helped a smidge. Oh, here he is. Loot courier. And this guy is what? Leave after three turns, gives a random upgrade and destroyed. Insane. This guy's insane. This guy's more insane than anything else we had yet. Seven and six is death, so let's kill this thing. This is a hunter, so theoretically... Bonus loot. Stormblast. The first time the sorcerer kills three enemies in a battle, deal 20 damage to all enemies. Um, I mean in a battle. So this is a one-time thing each battle. If the rogue moves through a hero or contraption, they give them for temp armor. I mean, this is good. This is like, this is, you win a round. And in most battles, there are five rounds. So by using this, you skip one of the five rounds. I think this is good. Um, Summer against two temporary power for every square they move. This is also nice because he has three move. He's not the two, two move. I like, I like the storm blast. Obviously, I like this too, but I like the storm blast. Okay, what else has spawned? Nothing really. Can I see the storm blast counter somewhere? I guess this is it. I guess this is it. Oh, oh, she's about to trigger it. Well, yeah, let's trigger it then. Boom, pop, everything's dead. Easy. Uh, stomp. After the samurai attacks, adjacent enemies take six damage. 
That's decent. When the rogue attacks an elite or a boss, they deal an additional 10 damage and gain 5 temporary armor. The sorcerer gain 5 temporary armor and they destroy an enemy. Attacks adjacent enemies. Let's go with this. I want the samurai to be in the middle of everything. Let's try to have a samurai build, you know? Let's let's full on build everything around the samurai. If we lose, we lose. Learning slowly. Uh, okay, this should be dead because I have two towers on it. This can be killed with a sorcerer alone. So let's just bring the sorcerer over here and that should be already enough. I brought her in closer because one, two, three. Yeah, because I think she doesn't have, she didn't have range there without moving. Um, yeah, and uh, the rest is stays where they are. Come over here so you get the buff from this. And uh, let's, let's see how this goes. Okay, this is obviously dead. This animation here is a bit bad. They could fix that. It's like the animation from the crystal tower. I disagree. I disagree with the fact that that's the animation. Uh, let's get the kill here. That was part of the plan. He is killing. Nice. Let's get a kill here. Let's get a damage here with the tower. Boop. And the assassin should finish this. Very nice. Cleared out. Next round. Gain agile. Can move through all units. Energize. The sorcerer can target allies to instead give them 6 temporary power and 6 temporary armor and 2 temporary move. You know what? This is really good with uh, the this combines really 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 well with the um, uh, after the third uh, kill you kill everything because uh, i can make her in the start of the fight just spam this although this is obviously bad if you overall this is a bad move <laughs> six temporary power and three six temporary armor now uh, maybe you can play a samurai build because he already has the aoe an adjacent enemy is destroyed gain five temporary pow power temporary is only for one turn though not that good. I guess for the round. At the end of the round, yeah. Agile. Let's let's go with this. Let's go with this. I might build an explosive samurai build. Because right now when the samurai attacks, it attacks everything that's around them, right? Because you have this, this thing. No, because he has this thing. Blasting strikes. So if I make him like do a thousand damage while and uh, somehow make the blasting strikes even bigger. It's going to be a one shot on the whole map. I mean, if not on the whole map, at least on the... Ah, damn it, look at this. At least at the big area of the map. What happens if I place him here? The spawn goes over there. I think this is better because now he can attack this. And uh, this is gonna hit that and that. And then his storm is gonna hit the one behind. Yeah, I think this is a very good spot for him. Uh, this is another spawn over there. So I guess let's bring her over there. Where, where does this cover? Can I see this coverage? Yeah. So you go over here. You go over here. One step back to have better... You know what? I think from here... He can run back there and kill, and he can also go there and kill. So this is a very good spot. And let's see how what, what that looks like. Okay, chain lightning over there did not chain correctly. Uh, she can do 13 damage, but that's definitely not a kill. With him, it's also not a kill. Uh, what could you do? Well, he can do some damage. Wait, if she buffs him, she cannot buff him. I guess she can move. Well, he's gonna get hit. No matter what I do. Um, this is a 6 damage guy. She has 3 armor right now. She can take a hit. Let her take a hit. He helps her out. Bup, 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 bup. And now he gets double kill. I mean a single kill. And uh, yeah, let's go. Enemies are pretty much dead. Oh, I could have... No, I could have used the tower. That was a bit of a misplay, not using the tower. My tower is here still alive though, so... Not the end of the world. Now he can get actually double kill. And uh, she can get another kill here. And we won this turn. Let's see what we get. Minus two armor. May maybe these are... Um, these are... Uh, these are different if I play better. Or if I don't take damage. I don't know if it affects anything. If the rogue moves through a hero or contraption, they gain four armor. The sorcerer gains three temporary power and one temporary range. At the start of the next turn, whenever they take armor damage. No... Should I go for strip down? Make him move even more? But I didn't take the thing that makes him, whenever he moves, he gets power. I'm not sure about this. One more arm and move. I mean, I like this. Temporary arm on the rogue. Let's go with this. Let's make him like a super mobile character. It might be bad overall. I think it's bad, but uh, I want to test stuff, you know? I want to test stuff. Let's go on. Okay, the boss is over there. So already my towers don't cover it. This is going to help. This, I hope, attacks this line so it starts popping downwards. 
Let's go closer. Where's this coverage? Yeah, let's go closer to everything. Mm, you stay here to start smashing those. You stay here to attack the boss a bit. I don't know what this does. Okay, it uses this to... Oh, it makes it trap. Ah, extremely bad. We'll use this and beat the boss most likely. And um, you know what? Let's also boost ourselves here even more. Oop, this should also work on the towers, right? Does it work on the towers? No, it... Oh, it does work on the towers. Oh, that's insane! Did you see the five... Oh, that's really good. Oh, okay, that's really good now. I will change... I will... The next time I will use both of them hitting this tower. He gets more damage every turn. Uh, you know what? If this guy comes here and attacks here, three die, exactly. Oop, those are dead. The ten damage tower can attack here. And now we go in. I know the rogue is not good at tanking. Uh, I should have buffed the rogue. Ah, he has six block. He's okay. Uh, let's give him more block. Oop. I could have used this. I could have used the AoE attack to pretty much hit everything. Look how much damage we have. Man. Oh, this thing also attacks? Oh, it doesn't have attack range though. But it has three damage. <laughs> let's go here. Uh, he has five armor right now. Let's attack. Let's attack. And that's it pretty much. No reason to think about this that much. 15G and 10 XP. And let's see what choice we get. Ooh, that's what I wanted to see. Removal armor. The samurai can no longer gain armor, but he gets 3 range, 4 power, and 8 max health. And uh, with the 3 range and the explosive shots, he will be popping off. When the rogue destroys an enemy, all allied units within 3 power ra radius gain 3 temporary. No, move, and, move, range, and agile. I think this thing bugged her out the last time though, didn't it? I think it made it so that she cannot move and attack at the same time. This is really good, obviously, but uh, let's try this. Let's try the samurai that's ranged. Samurai can no longer gain armor. Uh, the, the can no longer gain armor thing is bad. But 3 range is decent and 4 power is also good. Yeah, let's try this. I want to try it. I want to try the, uh, the everything onto the samurai build. Uh, see you in Century Lord. Yeah, th this is the same text. Continue, gain the XP. I skipped it because it's the same that we already had. Level up. What can a samurai get? Two power. I love it. Whenever you you take health damage, gain for XP. No. Um, what is this, by the way? Increase damage radius by one. Ooh, two damage radius. Yeah, man, it's go. It's happening. Heal two each wave. Plus one move. Plus one range. Plus three armor. Ooh, plus one. Wow, this is going very well. We go here. This is... Actually, you know what? Maybe there is something for 45 that I care about. I can buy one 15er and one 30er. I can buy two 15ers and a 30er. Or... Um, yeah, that's actually it. That's the only... Or three 15ers. Nah. The start of the turn, Jason Heroes gain three power. One move. I like the one move. Eight health. First loot upgrade each battle is guaranteed to be a rare. Each battle? Mm. Legendary would be better. Uh, a rare is the second tier. Epic would be better. When you damage an enemy, gain XP to power. I think I'm going to go with you damage an enemy, gain XP. So we go with this. This. Um, this. I need move. Heal to health. You know what? Let's get the move. He has four move right now. Let's make it five. Let's make him the super duper. I cover everything kind of deal. And uh, over here. Ah, oh, we're out of money. Well... It is what it is. <laughs> Let's go shop. Let's go see those upgrades. Your hero heal two health at the start of each, at the end of each wave. Decent. Your rogue gains to move. Very decent. Uh, your rogue gains an aura that gives allies three uh, in a four tile radius, three temporary armor. Okay. Over at the good tower, I mean at the explosive tower, we get if the mortal tower is destroyed, deal 18. No. For each turn, the mortar tower doesn't shoot. Gain three temporary power. Just not that decent. When the mortar tower attacks an enemy, the rogue deals his power as damage to the same enemy. And the, but how? Globally? This this is really good because it says ah, attacks. Okay, not deals damage. The tower attacks cast chain lightning, although it's already casting chain lightning. The chain lightning deals two damage and gives two temporary armor for each tower. Does this chain with itself or is it going to make it worse? When attack, deal 4 damage to enemies in a 3 tile radius. Explosive magic. If the lightning tower destroys an enemy last destroys an enemy last turn, it gains 3 temporary damage 
radius. This seems insane to me. Um, you inflict temporary armor for each enemy hit. You deal 10 damage for each consecutive enemy hit on the same turn. Oh, this is like an insta kill on everything. And the uh, Emerald Pulse, at the start of your turn, if there is a contraption next to this tower, deal 5 damage to enemies in a 3 tile radius around this tower. This is also good if I spawn, I just have to place a trap next to it and then it's gonna happen every turn. If an enemy destroys the hero banner, they suffer 10 damage. Eh. At the end of your turn, adjacent allies gain 1 temporary armor too. Eh. Not really that strong. The hero's banner gives your heroes within a 4 tile radius, plus 2 temporary armor at the end of your turn. That's decent. When I'm triggers the tab, it's flung. No. Heroes that walk over the trap gain 4 temporary armor. Decent-ish. If an enemy is destroyed while affected by a trap, spawn a temporary trap on the nearby hill. Okay, we will go with the lightning tower here. Um, in the hopes that uh, this thing is overpowered. Against the temporary damage radius. Yep. Let's go. Yeah, confirm. And uh, yeah, we continue with this. And that's it pretty much. And let's go. Let's go. What? Uh, did we fight this guy? <laughs> Not sure if you fought this guy last time. Queen. Imagine there is a threat arising in the dark. Grab a room or statue. Huh? Terrorizing citizens from the shadows. It's the same thing. Vampires? Give how you are left? So that they would risk. Bold indeed. Adopt our current predicament as both of them. To come out of hiding. I once more implore your aid manager. This cannot be allowed. By the way, I didn't... I, I did... For some reason, I thought that the... I thought that uh, I'm gonna get an analysis here. But I made a mistake. And once again, skipped what the boss does. <laughs> Whoops. Let's see. What is a lost soul? This is new. These are new enemies, by the way. Destroyer. Attacks deals damage in a two-tile radius. Okay, we need to kill these three first. And also, there is not any good placement for the splitter tower. I'm I'm thoroughly disappointed. Uh, well, as I said, we need to call those three. So, we go... You go to the deepest one. I know that he doesn't have armor. But you have to remember that he has Yaidu, so he cannot take any damage first turn. Here. At first attack, not even first turn. And you go over here. Second turn. Bop, Yaidu. Stomp. Okay, first of all, yeah, let's, uh, let's get a kill here. Now I should have killed him with, um, with her. Lightning shield. For minus 4 armor when hit, cast chain lightning. Your chain lightning, not this for damage enemies. If the rogue didn't move at the end of the turn, gain stealth. Stealth does what? Target the pole can still hit by splash damage. Eh, trash. When adjacent enemies are gain 5 temporary power. Um, It rusts for a round though. When adjacent enemy is destroyed, gain 3 temporary power. You know what? I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use this. There is a plan. There is a plan. I can use this uh, with the enemy spawning. So when I, when, I, when I see where enemies will spawn, I will uh, just uh, bring him close to them as fast as possible. And now let's see where the enemies spawn. Okay, everywhere. <laughs> That's not good. Um, I have no idea where to place this is my main problem. This is such a trashy tower. I guess this is the best spot right now because it's hitting two. Uh, it's hitting two units, I guess. This tower is so bad. And here it also hits two units. And here too. Uh, here not. I guess it's right now it's hitting two units, but otherwise... Well, let's place it here. Uh, mortar tower. I guess this is a good spot. There is no real good spot, to be honest. And this tower, lightning? I think I want lightning, like, in a corner. I think I want lightning here. And the mortar... And the mortar over here. Or here. To have a bunch of uh, cover, uh, good coverage. Let's bring the mortar here. Uh, let's bring the mortar here. And let's bring the lightning... Wherever. I guess here. I should have a lot of big coverage like that. And um, I would like to have the hero's banner in the middle of the map. Which range do we have? We have so much coverage with everybody. Let's have a, a banner right away. I think this is a good spot for a banner. Or this is also a good spot. Let's let's place a banner here so that it hits this. And maybe a banner here that it hits this. Oh, here it's easy. it's even better. Because now it hits this. We come over here. And uh, we're pretty ready. Can you... Yeah, she can attack everything. Okay, let's see what the towers do. Okay, a bunch of things, a bunch of things are happening. 
Okay, very nice. So we obviously need to kill the loot carrier. Uh, if he attacks here, both die. So the moment we see two people next to each other, we go for that. Um, I forgot to bring him next to the spawning locations, which was de literally the plan. Where can you guys go? Pretty much nowhere. Pretty much nowhere. Can hit a tower, but who cares? Can hit a tower. Um, yeah, I guess we're not in any real danger here. So the only thing we really care about is just getting rid of units. Uh, you shoot here, just to, so we're done with this quickly. And you attack here. Uh, you attack here first. You move... Can this even attack? Oh, it can attack. It cannot kill this though. Mm, yeah, you should help over here. Up. Plus this. Now you shoot over there. Very nice. I got bonus loot. Did, did, did. Gain one power for every four health the rook is missing. One move, six minus six power. Gain two temporary power for every square you move. So this is like run from the other. He needs to move at least three steps to get his power back. Yeah, if I could path and make him do circles, I would take it. But otherwise, no. Um, I don't like any of those. Definitely not this one. Um, four armor. I don't want to be saying M, M again and again. Let's go for this one. Although it's bad, it's better than the others, at least in my opinion. The others have like negatives assigned to them. If there was no negative to the others, I would uh, go, would have gone for those. Oh no, the tower. Oh no, the tower. Well, mistakes on jokes on you guys. The tower does damage. Okay, I don't want to pop this uh, super insta kill right now. So we go with an insta kill on those two. And uh, you... You know what? Buff him. Now he can go and get the assassination done. Nice. Very nice. Minus one move, but gain another. Minus one move, but get to range. This, for example, I prefer. Yeah, this is nice. This, this is pretty much the same, because I don't want her to move at all. And if I get the sh her attacks at everything, then we are golden. Let's end the turn here. Can I bring the rook over there? Nope. Let's get the turn here. Let's see what we get. A bunch of damage. Ooh, look at this, man. I um, guess we're gonna one-shot, most likely. Okay, I want you... Well, big mistake that the lightning tower isn't down there, but this area here should be covered. Uh, let's have the rogue here for um, for coverage, so he can run either to this or to this. Uh, she should help here at the bottom. And you should be right next to this area for when kills happen. Turn. Okay, I think I'm just not even gonna care about this whole thing. I'm gonna just end the fight right away. So let's end the fight right away. Oof. Da -da 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 -da. Everything's dead. It's round. Ah, uh, what's the thing? The rogue has five power against the that enemies that are missing health. Decent. Samurai takes health damage. They gain six temporary. This this does not work. Uh, I get so many negatives here. Um, I don't want this. I don't want. Chain Lightning, Chain Lightning that does 4 damage. No, let's go for this. And uh, let's come back and pass. Okay. At least this time, this tower will most likely hit there. Man, my tower placement was definitely bad. Uh, come over here to help out with coverage. By the way, stay actually in between so that you get both buffs. And uh, I guess you can go over there. Oh, she can buff this. Insane. <laughs> We're here and you go to the bottom and help out with the tower clearing. Let's see what's coming in. Okay. Some hits here and there. Chain lightning's trying its best. What is this? Vampire Sorceress. Choose an enemy to teleport next to. At the start of the round, at the end of the round, the Vampire Sorceress deals their power as damage in a 2 times radius, and teleports to that tile if possible, and it does 6 damage. What is this whole armada? Why is everything that has 3 damage over here? Gremlin. Choose an... Nope. Gremlin. Hunter. After attacking, reduce enemies' movement by 1 turn. Okay. And these are nothing, pretty much. Oh, these, these, these move a lot. Okay, let's start getting rid of those then. Over here. Very nice. So all of that is done. And now over here we will have a problem, but it is what it is. Bop to damage. 
And uh, you just attack and get some hits. As far as I remember, the Rook will heal at the end of the turn. So even if the enemies attack the, turn, the Rook a bit. Oh, we lost the tower. That was the most misplaced one. Well, we didn't actually lose life on the Rook. Because of the fact that the Rook actually has 8 armor. Because of those two banners. Man, those two banners are insane. I thought they were trash. But uh, I was completely wrong about this. Those banners are insane. You just place them in the middle and you keep the rook there. The rook is pretty much death immune. And the banners also buff each other. So I should always make sure that both banners can buff each other to give themselves armor. When hit by an enemy in your attack range, attack it back. With him. When hit by an enemy in your attack range. So that's everywhere. Whenever somebody attacks him, he attacks back. I like this. Although he doesn't have shielding, he has AI do, so it's gonna one-shot something. The rogues attacks against enemies with less armor than, than them. Delay damage. What? The rogues attack against enemies with less armor than him, I guess, than them. Than the rogue itself. Deals 8 damage. If Sorcerer destroys an enemy, he gain, uh, she gains. Yeah, they gain. So, uh, so this is, I guess, a gender neutral. That's why it says they. Uh, 4 power and 1 range next round. Mm, I will go with this. Although this is obviously better if he had armor, but uh, he has 23 attack, he has a lot of power, so even if he doesn't have armor, it's almost going to be like, okay, you attack me, I lose 5 life, you die instantly, and with the I do, it's even better. Uh, well, once again, the towers are misplaced, of course. Mm, she can definitely cover the top. So let her go here, sh so that she get the double buff. You will most likely come down here and cover this area. Yeah, I mean, let's not forget that when he attacks... Yeah, you come over here. When he attacks, he does 6 damage to whatever's next to them. So, uh, him or whatever. So, he can attack from range here. And then this is gonna explode still. And uh, he stays here for coverage. Actually, you know what? He doesn't stay there for coverage. He comes here to get the buff. And then he will go back and kill whatever is there. And turn. Let's see what this looks like. Buff, 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 buff. That's dead. Chain lightning here. Chain lightning again. This moved. Why did this move? Attack leaps back to the edge of the board. Okay, congratulations. Elusive. At the start of the turn, summons two pile hands of random piles. Okay, I should kill this. It's just 9 range damage. At most, it's gonna just damage this thing. Actually, I can kill here. Should I care about all those? Where do these guys move to? Not important. Not important. Not important. Not important. Yeah, nothing is important. What do you do? Destroyer attack deals 2 damage in a radius. Well, you're not gonna attack. I mean, you are gonna attack if I'm gonna come in, but these two can kill this thing, and this, and she can kill this from range, obviously. Is this tile dangerous? I guess just the 7 damage attacks coming in. Um, this thing cannot attack where it is right now, from where it is. Yeah, so this thing cannot attack. Uh, you attack over there, uh, do a smidge of damage, but otherwise just stay where you are. Yeah, uh, you kill this. You attack here. You can Oh, he cannot kill that. Whoops, mistakes were made. It's okay, though. Not going to be the end of the world. This thing is ranged, so it's not going to attack us. Uh, we can place a trap here. I mean, I'm never placing traps, so might as well do it. And um, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're safe and set to go. And uh, in case somebody's attacking him, you know what? Let's see if this actually works. It does not work. Okay, good to know, good to know. I mean, it's a spell that I'm almost never using, so whoop, yeah, I do, whoop, you died. And the other one got hit for six. I didn't know that was that was possible. He's dead, yeah, I do in confidence. And the enemy's moved. Where are you guys going to? Okay, you attack here, can you move? Oh, he can kill everything. You attack here. For XP, that's why I attacked with her. And you kill this, and we're done. We still have the banners up, so we're pretty safe. Shield slam. When a samurai attacks an adjacent enemy, they are knocked back one tile. If they can't be knocked back, they take 10 damage instead. Killing an enemy makes them explode, dealing 5 damage to adjacent enemies. I prefer this right now. Backflip. The first time the rogue takes damage each round, they gain a temporary armor. This is also good. Uh, when the samurai attacks an adjacent enemy, they can't knock back. I, I, I don't like this. Mm. Yeah, I don't like this. I don't want to be moving enemies with uh, him. I, th I, I like these two. Mm, let's go with his armor because he already has 17 life, so he needs some protection, I think. Let's go over here, let's go over here, and let's go. Turn, is this triggered? Retrap. Oh, the boss. Oh, that's it? Just the boss? 
But yeah, let's box the boss in then. Can I buff everybody? Yeah, you go here. You go here. And you go here. And uh, you just stay where you are. Us. Let's see what this does. Buzz does. Well. Well. How would I know? What is even happening? Uh, massive. Drops 5 stone on random tiles at the end of each turn. When this unit dies, Walter gains 1 range. And uh, this is the same. And this does what? Massive drops 5 stone on random tiles at the end of each turn. When unit dies, Walter gains 5 power. And uh, this is... 5 to move. And this is 1 damage radius. So we are not killing this. Uh, what do you have? Immune to damage while one of the statues is alive. Agile. When all the statues are dead, Volter will gain Relentless. Relentless prioritizes the Rook. Agile can move through units. Boss. Okay, he has 12 life, so the moment everything breaks, we won. He does 7 damage. First thing I want to do is give him move, because who cares? Then after that, I'm going to give him range, because who cares? And then after that, I'm going to give him power. And very last, I'm going to give him rage radius, because radius will explode us. Uh, so, yeah, as I said, let's begin with move, as that's trash. And uh, the only thing I have to pay attention to is to actually not by mistake go into a place where I would not like to go to you know um, so let's think about this I can attack this uh, take seven and then the mortar kills it I can attack this plus this oh he cannot arrive there uh, the rock can do a hit here it's not any risk yeah there is no any risk doing that this is the spot where it's dangerous so you can go here and attack here Let's double check. Do I have to check every one in normal? No. I, I see the spots. So you go here. Attack here. Okay. You attack this and it dies. Actually, can you attack this? Because he cannot attack this while he can attack that. So you go over here and attack this. So this is dead now. 18 plus 16. Oh no. Well, this is dead. This is safe. Oh, this is safe. So this is dead. Yeah, this is dead. This is dead. I don't know what this guy's gonna attack. I'm guessing he's gonna attack the rook for seven, but seven damage is not that much. So actually, it's nothing. He cannot even do damage right now. Let's go. Oh, he's attacking my no. New no. my buffs. That's dead as calculated. This is alive, but it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, well, we start going for the next one. This one lasts, right? Yeah, this one lasts. So you go here. Is anything attacking this tile? Yes, there is. So you go here. Is anything attacking that tile? No. Da, 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 da. Here you go. Yeah. Oh. Mm, this is dead already. And uh, you go and go back into action. And you, mm, yeah, everything, everybody's in safe tile. Uh, you just damage this. Just so we set it up and turn. Oh no, now he's attacking the tower. He doesn't even know what he's doing with it. Okay, that thing is dead. Um, okay, because this thing is dead, I will try to attack it with the rook. Yeah. Attack this with the rook. Attack this with her. Can she even attack that? Yes. The problem is the rogue, man. The rogue cannot attack this. I don't want to give him the AoE yet. So... Just gonna bring the rogue in a more favorable position, quote-unquote. And I'm gonna let this live. And give him armor. In case something goes wrong. And you know what? Actually, no. Let's go. What did I not use? Does this work against this? Let's test it. I mean, we are already winning here. Ah, it does. Okay, we won. We can win on the spot, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna farm one more XP for her. It doesn't matter that he hit the... The, the rook heals at the end of the turn. At the end of the fight. So this should give us one XP. Right? It did not. Okay, well that was for nothing. I guess I should have uh, used her here. Oh no, he's dead. He has become light. Two range. I love it. Grapple. If the rogue is standing next to a mortar tower at the start of the, of, of the 
turn. They will teleport back to their previous position after they attack once they turn. So they runs and comes back through power. If the lightning tower is destroyed, the sorcerer gains four armor, four power, and one range. We're not gonna go with this. We're gonna go with a ballista samurai. We're gonna go with a global samurai here. That's that's my plan. Might be a bad plan. Actually, maybe it was a big mistake giving him uh, lose, making him lose all the armor, but at this, because at this point he has so much range. The Grovel Magister, we have held our strain, and yet, in the end, you were just like the rest. So say you, vampire, close your eyes and embrace death, for she has waited for you far too long. Well, cool. Oh, we're going to different places. Okay, where are we time-wise? 40 minutes. Hmm. I think I want to split this in two. Yeah, I want to make them a bit faster, you know, because I think from the next fight, from the next final, let's do the upgrades here and most likely end that after that. What is this, by the way? Immune to player damage. Takes 10 damage whenever a Hydra head is killed. After this unit attacks, respawn all heads plus one extra. Okay, Hydra many heads will separate, isolate and overwhelm you. Watch your positioning. See, I mean, I'm going to be in the middle of the map. See, uh, with all the buffs and the range we have. Sea life use abilities to cover the white yeah, They're fragile individually, but over million numbers. Okay. First of all, for XP, we're obviously gonna go with range at this point. Uh, yeah, that's definitely happening. Increase the damage. This would be insane if I could have the XP. Temporary range. Af range after you move. Gain one range after you move. Doesn't make sense. One move. But so you turn Jason Heroes gain through power. And we go with move. He has a very little move ability right now. The first loot upgrade each battle is guaranteed to be rare. You know what? Rare is really strong in this game, so we will go with this. And uh, increase the damage radius by one for him too. Insane. Gain two parts at the at each wave. At the start of your turn, if there are no allies, no so we're gonna go with these two for him. For each adjacent hero gain through power, one range. This is also nice. Minus one range, so it attacks at all enemies in range. Yes, so we get these two and we win the game. So we obviously go um, temporary range after you move. Yeah, I think that's how we're going to play this. Eight health, no. We go here. And then next, the next fight, I hope I get 160 XP and get those two. And at that point, we have one. And then we can go for the next one uh, here, most likely. So I think we're going to end this here. I mean... Um, prefer to have a 40 minute episode instead of having a one hour episode and hopefully from the next run uh, we will have we will be so overpowered that i can blast through the other three acts within one run so these runs will most likely be always split in two as long as people uh, watch them i will continue playing them uh, there will be most of the time a little uh, pause between runs just because of the fact that i want to check if people still watch this and after the pause the pause is most likely going to be like one between one to three days uh, maybe sometimes if I have a lot of, um, I guess, what's it called? If I want to play this game, if if I have like, uh, what what is it called? Give me a second to search it up. Okay, search it up. So if I'm in the mood, <laughs> if I'm in the mood to play a bit more, I might upload like the second one after that. But 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 I think I will upload tomorrow the continuation of this. So mm, am I? I will see. Either way. Um, I hope you guys liked the content. If you did, maybe drop a like, helping out the channel. And if you want to suggest me anything, first of all, I would like to hear, do you guys find the samurai better than the warrior? I mean, I think he is better. The warrior was like, everybody around him gets a buff, while, um, and that means he is like, buddy-buddy with everybody. You have to be around him all the time, while the samurai is like, uh, I don't care, I can be alone. If somebody hits me, he dies. So I'm not sure if there are unique passives yet. That's something that I'm not sure about. It didn't feel like there were unique passives because I have seen them before. Um, still though, I, I'm still uh, exploring. I'm still finding new stuff like the rogues thing that said that it, he attacks and then he blinks back to the tower. That that that's a fun thing. I didn't pick it up though, but uh, still it was something unique. So I don't know how much more uniqueness there is. But um, after tomorrow's run. I will, uh, if we win, if we win, I will unlock three new characters. So at that point, uh, it will be even more uh, unique, I guess, the experience. Either way, uh, that's going to be it, though, for today. So thanks for watching, everybody, and see you guys around.